over in Cambridge County in a bar room full of smoke, where all the neighbors gather to talk horse and crack a joke. On a cold and blustery evening, with tongues already greased, smoke rolling from his old clay pipe, Bill Hopkins spoke his piece. I want to tell you boys about a colt my dad was going to shoot. Yes, he was going to take the life of that crooked-legged brute. He was so doggone mad, do you see, to think that our old mare could mother such a Hamiltonian as we saw sprawling there. But I begged so hard of him to give the homely thing to me. At last he said, well, take him, Bill, he's the worst I've ever seen. I took him and I raised him, but although I'd never have owned, I'd have swapped him for a mule if nobody would have known. For long-legged and slab-sided was the nature of that critter, and the boys all laughed at me. So I kept him down in our back lot, well out of sight, you see. I'd go down and stir him up, and switch him round the lot to see if he couldn't strike a gait that was something like a trot. But he didn't seem to have a gait. He mixed himself all up like an old jackknife with the rivets loose, half open and half shut. I broke him and I drove him, but he didn't seem to know whether drove single or drove double, how he ought to act or go. I hauled Bill to the factory with him and our old mare. One night while going home, I found out what was there. For the pole slipped through the neck yoke ring while going down a hill. And they lit out, gee, how's that they lit out for the kill? My surprise turned to amazement and my blood got boiling hot. Ma, our old mare run her level best, but the colt just held his trot. Going home that evening, I fixed everything all right, and I didn't tell my secret, and I didn't sleep that night. For the county fair was coming up, and I made up my mind to try my luck with the four-year-olds and not be far behind. I got another boy to enter him so nobody would know whose colt it was going to run till it was time to go. We scored and scored to get the word, but the colt would sprawl and skip. The boys all hollered, Bill, why don't you let her rip? At last we got the word to go, but the others were ahead, and I wished that I was somewhere else. The darn old colt was dead. But I hauled right up and pounded him the very best I knew. All at once he spread his wings and flew. You talk about your trotting boys, talk about your fun. Twas then we found them four year olds and we downed them one by one. My colt won three straight heats and the crowd went crazy wild to see that their colt win like taking candy from a child. Boys, to end my story, you know that farm I own. The price I got for that there colt just needed me my home. My father always said blooded stock was his best holt, but you can bet your life he'll never give away another crooked-legged colt. <laughs>